I'm Jared Falk, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to count eighth note triplets. Now, to count these, we're just gonna relate them back to the quarter notes. So if you don't know how to count quarter notes, go back there first, um, just quickly, Watch that video, it's like five to seven minutes long or something like that, and uh, then come back and watch the eighth note triplet video. Now, eighth note triplets, you're gonna commonly hear them in a, a shuffle groove, in some jazz, even in some Latin stuff. Uh, you will hear this kind of stuff in rock music and, and everything like that, but it's not as prevalent as far as the groove goes. But there is some like, you know, heavy, um, shuffly sounding grooves from like the 70s, 80s, e even, even nowadays. I don't wanna rule out anything, so. Um, basically, I count these one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, okay? And now you'll see on the one, two, three, four, that's where our quarter note would be. So how many eighth note triplets is in one quarter note? Three. Three eighth note triplets in one quarter note. So if I were playing quarter notes with my left hand, one, two, three, four. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. And that's exactly how they're counted. That's exactly how they're felt. Now, some people count these one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. You can do that. I'm sure people have other ways of doing it too. You can kind of throw in whatever word you want. Um, I'm sure some of you guys have some funny stories about words that you use, but maybe that's not PG, so maybe we won't get into that right now. So I'm going to play exercise one for you guys on the snare drum, show you exactly how it sounds. So as we go from count to count, you'll notice that the lead hand is changing. We're going right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And that's because there's an uneven amount of notes per count. All right, so it's gonna feel very awkward when you first uh, start playing triplets. I know I was just like, what is a triplet when I first started? I just could not even fathom it. It's like I was all about the eighth note and the 16th note and then just fast 30 second notes. But once you get into the triplets, man, and you play them against uh, some eighth note groove or some sixteenth note groove, it sounds so cool. And so, next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna relate these to the, the chord note and then to just simple eighth notes. We got one, two, and three, and a four, and a one, two, and three, and a four, and a one, two, and three, and a four, and a one. Okay, so that's the rhythm. Um, let's put it onto the snare drum now. I know some of you guys are looking at the eighth note triplets and the eighth notes and saying, well, how many eighth note triplets are in a group of two eighth notes? And that's where it all gets a little bit funky and that's where we could just go on a whole completely different tangent that is um, just not gonna fit in this one video. Um, that's like a whole five or 10 hours of, of videos and stuff like that. But basically, if you look at stuff like that, you get into the whole polyrhythmic side of it, you know, playing three over two or two over three. So if I'm playing eighth note triplets in my right hand, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, right? Three and a, four. And then adding in eighth notes with my left hand, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. So you get this whole funky vibe that can take you to a completely different place and I highly encourage you to study that kind of stuff. It's very, very fun and it can add a whole different dimension to your playing. Um, but now let's just jump on to number three before I just go off and never actually come back to this lesson. Uh, number three, we've got two groups of eighth note triplets, and then we are, we're gonna compare these to 16th notes and 32nd notes. All right, because later uh, in the, I think it's fill number five, we're gonna actually play that a shuffle groove and then go from eighth note triplets to 16th notes to 32nd notes, and it's gonna sound really, really funky within context. But now let's just learn the fill. Here we go. If 
if you're having trouble with any of this, just go back to the leg or the practice pad and go really, really slow. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four e and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three e and uh, four e and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three e and uh, four e and uh, one and uh, two, three e and uh, four e and uh, one. In exercise four, we're going to start adding rests in with our eighth note triplets. Now, all the rests mean is we don't play anything when you're counting um, that note. So. We're going to count this one and a two and a three and a four and a, or one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. So you notice there's rests on the and of one, the a uh of two, the three, and then the four and the and of four. So again, just on the leg, one and a, uh, two and a, uh, three and a, uh, four and a. Uh. That's the rhythm. Let's put it on the snare drum. As soon as you hear that click, start going the one, two, three, four. Just get the note value in your head. Just start counting one and two and three and four. It's going to be way easier to actually translate that onto the snare drum. If you just go into it not even having any sort of lead up in your head or anything like that, it's going to be a heck of a lot harder. All right, so now we're getting into the fills and actually applying this stuff in context on the drum set. Okay, so number five, we're basically just going to play number three with a shuffle beat going into it. So the shuffle beat is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Here we go. First time I played 16th notes and 32nd notes against an 8th note triplet pulse, it was really, really freaky. I remember when my teacher showed it to me, it's like, that's such a cool concept. Why don't I think about combining these note values? It's just, it's awesome. And once you get it and you're able to just switch between them all, it's, yeah, it's so freeing and you're gonna be able to do so much more on the drum side. I can't stress that enough. It's, just spend the time on this stuff that may seem really, really boring. I hope I'm making it more interesting for you. Please tell me I'm making it more interesting for you. Uh, but then you can do way more stuff in the kit, I promise. Okay, the last one. We're basically moving number four around the drum set. Again, using a shuffle groove, and this time we're inserting eighth note triplet rests. Here we go. So now you know how to play and count eighth note triplets. If you want to practice this long to music, I recommend listening to a ton of jazz, okay? Jazz, blues, or anything that has a shuffle to it. Cool, so you guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Like I said, I hope I'm making this stuff more interesting for you, more fun to learn. I know it's a challenge at first, uh, when you're first starting out learning all these note values, but you will not be disappointed if you take the time and do it. Thanks again, I'll see you soon. It's so relaxed now. I'll play a groove with you and you play that, you sing that again. I'll play a light groove. Not all the time.